we are back. She was the oldest daughter born of the Kennedy clan in 1918. She lived a long but very sad life, most of which was out of public view. It included a lobotomy and years of being institutionalized. Not much was known about Rosemary Kennedy until today. Author Elizabeth Kohler Penikoff visited Rosemary for years and years as a young girl and has written a revealing account of the missing Kennedy, which is also the name of her book. Let's welcome Elizabeth, to Bay Sunday. How are you? Great. How are you? Nice to have you here. Thank you. Well, how did you have this access? Maybe you can explain that. Well, my aunt was a Catholic nun mm -hmm. in rural southeastern Wisconsin, and we lived not very far away. She worked at St. Coletta, which was a home for the mentally challenged people, mm -hmm. and my aunt was absolutely wonderful with everyone. And so she was assigned to take care of Rosie, as we call her, mm -hmm. uh, in Rosie's special, a uh, house was specially built for her in her house, and she cared for her for many years. And you would sneak in and say hi and carry on conversations? Absolutely. And... We visited her regularly, and Rosie became like a member of our family. Yeah, I guess. Um, she had a lobotomy. And well, first and foremost, what was her disability? Where, where well, in the beginning, they, uh, they would have said she was mentally challenged when she was very young. Mm -hmm. However, doctors today believe that she really was learning disabled. And then as she grew into a teenager, she began noticing that her parents had different rules for Rosie than they did for Eunice and Ted and and Jean and all of the others. Mm -hmm. And she says, well, why can Eunice go out at night and I can't? Why must I have a governess? Or, you know, why? so she was just very upset and that uh, evolved. evolved. Yeah. And so she became very depressed. And then she was diagnosed with agitated depression when she started acting out very violently mm -hmm. in temper tantrums. She injured herself and family members. Joe Kennedy, the father, had her lobotomized in the 40s? Yes. Why? Well, at the time, there was very little done for anyone with a mental illness. And everyone was touting this new procedure that supposedly calmed down people. And so he turned to the national media. And there were articles in Saturday Evening Post, Time, Newsweek. Newspapers were running this miraculous cure of the lobotomy was no worse than pulling a tooth. So he went to the doctor that all of these people interviewed mm -hmm. because he was going to what he thought was the best. And Dr. Walter Freeman exaggerated his claims of success and he hid or forgot about his failures. He didn't believe in the theory of germs and so everybody just accepted him. No doctors, of course, would ever talk against him. Mm -hmm. So Joe thought this would be the solution for Rosemary. JFK becomes congressman. JFK becomes a senator. JFK runs for president. Sees institutionalized in 1959, right before the, the elections are starting to come up with Kennedy. Why did Joe do that? And for years, no one, 20 years, she was kind of forgotten by She family. was. Well, Joe was told by the doctors in 1941 when she was lobotomized mm -hmm. to put her in a mental institution and never to visit her. And the reason doctors did this with anyone who had mental illness was they felt that it was too emotionally disruptive to the patient. And so they should just cut all ties. Right. So Joe told his family, he spared them the truth, uh, and he said, well, she's gotten worse, which was, which was true, and we have to uh, um, make sure that she's safe and taken care of. So no one knew her place until 1961 when, again, the nuns contacted Mrs. Kennedy. Mrs. Kennedy. Um, any reaction? I know, I, is Jean the only living sibling alive? Yes. But a lot of... The Shrivers the were Shrivers. very enthusiastic about my yeah. story because they were very involved with Rosie, especially Anthony Shriver, mm -hmm. who began Best, Best Buddies. Best Buddies, sure. And, of course, Eunice was motivated special to create Olympics. Special Olympics. And was Rosemary the reason? The catalyst. The catalyst. She was the catalyst, and Eunice would prod Jack when he was president and say, okay, you've got to do this for mental health. You've got to do this. And so Ted, Jack, and Bobby were very much uh, involved with legislation to really change the world. 
Well, I'm sorry we're out of time, but the book is fascinating. And thanks so much for coming in. We wish you all the best. Thank you for it. having me. Great to meet you, Liz. Great to meet you. If you like a copy of Liz's book, go to Amazon, or you can check out her website, missingkennedy.com, missingkennedy.com. More Bay Sunday right after the break. Stay there, folks.